Hello, my name's Simon and I'm a storyteller with Merkit Tours in Edinburgh. And storytelling is something that I've been involved in really all my life. Uh, my mum's Irish, so I grew up in a house full of stories. I remember my mum sitting there in the living room with her sisters just talking, typically Irish. They never faltered, they never ran out of words. I think it's just what you do if you're Irish, it's just polite. You know, you almost have a duty to chip in, keep the ball rolling, um, entertain and inform the people you're with. I think I absorbed that ability to sustain a story and took it out into the world with me when I was 18. I, I went into journalism, um, 20 years on newspapers and the radio. There's nothing about journalism that can't be taught in six weeks. But if you don't have an eye for a good story, you're out. So there were serious stories, um, funny stories, gory stories, shocking stories. If it bleeds, it leads. That's what they say. News is people and people's stories. Next came fatherhood. So now it's bedtime stories. Um, Sean the Sheep on telly. Listening to Gangster Granny by David Williams on long car journeys. One of my happiest memories from those early days was sitting there reading Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, front to back, to my infant son. The little fella lay there, staring up at me, didn't have a clue what I was talking about. But uh, he, he lay there in silence throughout, um, but just looking at me with those big brown eyes of his, um, fascinated. And now I work for Merkit Tours, uh, telling stories to Edinburgh's visitors. Stories about Mary, Queen of Scots, about the poor folk living in the old town, uh, about soldiers battling for Edinburgh Castle and philosophers changing the world. It feels like a good fit. A life without stories would be no life at all. The wonderful Scottish novelist Alexander McCall Smith wrote that. Stories bind us together, he said. One to another, the living to the dead, people to animals, people to the land. So um, here's to Scotland's stories and uh, here's to storytelling, because uh, where would we be without it?